I'm guilty of doom scrolling and not reading research articles too. My last video was on the two-year interim analysis for the 2018 COAP study. At that point, the authors found that the MitraClip decreased hospitalizations and all-cause mortality and improved MR severity. But did the initial benefit continue to the five-year mark? After five years, patients were continued to have reductions in heart failure, hospitalizations, and all-cause mortality. Additionally, device complications continued to be rare. Despite this, adverse outcomes like hospitalizations and mortality continued to occur in both groups within five years. Importantly, ECHO demonstrated decreased severity and NYHA classification improved as well within the device group. Interestingly, they performed a crossover analysis at two years. About 45% of control group patients proceeded to receive the mitra clip, which improved prognosis with a hazard ratio for mortality and hospitalization that was relatively similar to their device group. In summary, intervention with the MitraClip with GDMT lowered heart failure hospitalization and lowered all-cause mortality through five years despite the crossover treatment, although most benefits were seen within the first two to three years. Within the crossover study, the patient's prognosis for mortality and hospitalization was similar to the original group, which emphasized the importance of early intervention to prevent clinical deterioration. 